between Dominic Cruz and Nate Diaz. lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to lead as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. gentlemen you know this is a belt that frequently changes hands well it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist given all the skills he brings to the table the question is fighting a challenger like this can he hold on to the belt if he can just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen lightweight fight. Diaz is one year the elder. He is four inches taller. He will have an eight inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LeVay. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. It's Rudy first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 21 wins, 12 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Stockton, California, presenting the challenger, Nate Diaz! And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 22 wins, four losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC lightweight champion of the world. Dominic the Dominator Cruz. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? It doesn't matter. 
It does not matter how well you see yourself as a grappler. This guy's different, different level. Yeah. This guy's next level. You want to avoid this at all costs. Maintain distance. Do not go and grapple this guy. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Diaz gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that. Right, so there's the early takedown. He told us on Thursday he didn't necessarily see a path to victory if he couldn't get taken. Oh, he got an and this might just be a matter of time. Full guard here, DC. What does he need to do to improve position? Well, he's got to start to build his posture, get some damage off, move the half guard, which in turn leads to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you got to anticipate those. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. And attack an arm bar. Oh, he picks him up and slams him down. side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it there. Yes. Well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Cruz gets back up and pretty quickly, I might add. Nice connection there by Nate Diaz. Not a guy you want to let get going here on the field. No, all downhill with Nate, right? It's the activity that will overwhelm his opponents, and this looks like the start of that. Oh, nice jab. The Dominator gets caught with that punch. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Just misses with the straight left hand. Right left combo by Diaz. from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, round two is here. Let's see how it plays out. Dominic Cruz you ready? versus Nate Diaz. Big ball to punch land. Now we get back to range. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Diaz gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offering. Effective punch there by Dominic Cruz. Single collar tie now. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Right punches there. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. Now the guy's got arm bar. He's attacking it on it. Submission. How about that? He's like, you go here, <laughs> my <laughs> arm's free, and now he's got plenty of room to operate here out of side control. Nicely done. Oh. Switching stances here. 
Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Jab hurt him a little bit. The single collar shot. And he landed the right hand there. Punch is blocked. Diaz's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. His misses are out of Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? That is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Through the punch, got to the target. Round three next. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, let's check out some of the action DC. And how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not do punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. He missed with that jab attempt there. Beautiful strike. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. And it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great place to set up the Oh! Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really? That is a huge shot right there, DC. Well, the numbers continue to pile up. 54 total strikes have now landed for the all-time great Dominic Cruz. The accuracy rate, 32% against Nate Diaz. Nice job to raise the guard and block another strike there. He doesn't want the ringside position anywhere near the side. He has to understand that at any moment, if this thing goes down into the eye, the referee and the commission will have to stop the fight. Great job being aware, keeping the hands up and blocking, making sure to minimize the damage to that already cut eye. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Oh, nice. Oh, he's got him right here. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. That strike blocked by Diaz. Oh, he's landed a high number of total strikes here in the latter stages of this fight. He's really picked up the pace and landing far more strikes than he did in previous rounds. Oh, he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape DC. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. That's a good right hand right there. All right, has the guard closed here. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Cruz. 
opponent squirming like a fish out of water. Now the ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, and see who has the You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the eye. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. Some nice back and forth action here. Good stick. Opponents compromise, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing for people to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Back to the feet now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Under three minutes remain in round four. Oh, single collar tie here. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. up on the right there to no avail. Nice loop and run. Wow, actually got the takedown. Now he's chasing the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. They try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. And he's back up. Great punch landed with so much power. And there, his opponent could be out of here soon, DC. on his first test in elementary All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed, that put him on wobbly legs, and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. at this fifth and final round. Oh, uppercut to the head, but it's blocked there by Cruz. Big punch lands. Ooh. 
so he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh, he lands a hook there, DC. That was one of his more significant lands of the fight. He can land that strike. Oh, oh, oh. Beautiful job to split the guard. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on the beach. And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. Pinpoint strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbow. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at one minute, seven seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Nate Oh, what a moment there it is for the new UFC lightweight champion. I'm not crying. You're crying. Are you crying? I mean, almost eight.